Moving on to today's session, a warm welcome to Amay Sharma. Hi, Amay. Hi. Hi. Amay joins us from Prince Edward Island, all the way in Canada, and uh, I think it's probably eight thirty nine in the morning. Yeah. Ne never, never too early to start. I know. So <laughs> where people are having the morning tea, Amay is ready to make his first cocktail. So a brief uh, background on Amay's career. Amay started working in London with Oxo Tower as their bartender after his hotel management degree. He has then worked with Tolio Polaris, hotel, sorry, as their beverage mix portfolio. Mm -hmm. He then went on to organize and conduct India's first cocktail festival in year 2016 with over 25 bars and liquor brands participating and making cocktails under Nevada. one roof. This, this festival was called uh, the Bottoms Up Fest. Now he lives in Canada, working for a private firm, developing cocktail menus for their seasonal luxury resort. So I've had the uh, pleasure of knowing Amay for some time now, and I requested him to join us because I don't think there's anybody better in the business to teach us how to make great cocktails. Thank so you. having said that, thank you, Amay. Over to you. Thank you. Thanks. May I request uh, the so, audience just before Amay gets started? Two things. Uh, can I request the audience to have the speaker view on, so that only Amay's video is there in front of you and not the other participants. So keep the speaker view on, which is an option on the top right. And keep your mics on mute unless you wish to ask him a question. You can also write the question in the chat box, which becomes easier because then I can ask all the questions centrally to him, so that there is no talking across or confusion. Thank you. Perfect. <clears throat> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Chirag. And um, uh, what I've also done in Pune is uh, uh, Pasha and Miami have been my babies. I opened them in 2011. So that was something that uh, that was uh, uh, a big, big uh, thing on my resume. So, uh, like I said, we it's never too early to start. Uh, I always try and find a reason to make a cocktail, to drink a cocktail, and uh, I cannot thank you guys enough to make me get up. I I, I literally had to put my alarm on it. Eight o'clock to get up, get ready, and make a cocktail and drink at nine o'clock in the morning. So uh, let's not waste more time. I'm going to start quickly uh, with uh, with cocktail making. Uh, what we we're going to make three different kinds of cocktails. We'll start with vodka first, being because vodka is very common spirit. Everyone likes to enjoy it. It's a versatile spirit as well. It, so you you, make, you can mix any kind of flavors with it and it really pairs well with vodka. So, so the basic things that you need to remember while you make cocktails at home is uh, the, the sourness, like any citric acid, or lemon juice or lime juice, it has to be balanced with some kind of sweetness. So like a simple syrup, which is one is to one ratio of sugar and water that's why it's called simple because it's simple to make and easy to pair so you have to have to have to balance the uh, sourness with the sweetness in any kind of cocktail for it to taste nice because that, that's how you kind of balance the cocktail and the flavors come out uh, in saying that it does not necessarily have to be simple syrup, it can be any kind of syrup that you wish to add flavor of it. So it can be a vanilla syrup, it can be a cinnamon syrup, it can be a hazelnut syrup. You can add any kind of flavor to it. Let's say you're making an apple martini, add a cinnamon, cinnamon syrup to it to make an apple cinnamon martini, right? So that's how you balance the flavors with sweetness and sour. So everything that we are going to make today, that I'll... Every time we add sweet and sour, I'll let you know how we're going about it. So, uh, to, to begin with, like I said, let's start with uh, vodka. Uh, this is my shaker. Uh, if you don't have a shaker, like I said, use an old jam jar or a pickling jar or a cocktail, uh, like a protein shaker and stuff like that to, uh, to shake your cocktail. In. Yeah, perfect. So I'm going to add big measure, 60 ml of uh, vodka in it. And I'm going to add 25 ml of lime juice. 
25 to 30 ml of lime juice. I want to add some simple syrup. Again, like I said, so 25, 30 ml of lemon, lime juice or lemon juice, you're going to add 25, 30 ml of simple syrup. So that balances the flavor. Now, I'm going to, do you have any kinds of fruits that are at home? Any kind. Orange, yeah, orange is fine. So basically, any kind of fruit is okay. I'm going to use peach. So I'm going to cut peach in some chunks. And we're going to muddle that peach. So now, if you don't have a muddler, so muddle is basically Make a chutney out of it in, a, in the shaker. So if you don't have a muddler, use a... Uh, a balan or a rolling pin or a latin. That's what I would do. Uh, folks, those of you who have joined us late, once the session started, we have enabled everybody's cameras on this session. So in case you are following what Ame is doing and you have the ingredients ready, please put your cameras, your videos on so that he's able to see what you're doing. A lot of people who joined us a little later probably missed that instruction. Please put your videos on if you're following him. And now, what I also do is I, you know, normal herbs like mint, coriander, basil, chives. I like to grow them in pots at home. So, and you know, you can always always sound bougie with your friends when they are over. You can be like. Hey, I have, I, I'm making a cocktail which is garden to glass. I use my own herbs from the garden and I put it in my glass and I would take my cocktail. So I'm going to take those mint leaves from my garden into the glass. So whenever you have any kind of herbs, so mint, you don't, you don't have to muddle it. You just have to simply clap it to bruise the veins in the leaves. So what happens is that gives out enough flavor that we need to make to, to for that uh, uh, flavor to come out. I'm going to quickly bring some ice and we're going to add ice and shake in it. Mike, can you please now, give a quick recap till what you've done so far? Yeah. So what we've done is uh, we've added vodka. We've added lime juice, 60 ml vodka, 30 ml lime juice, 30 ml simple syrup. Simple syrup is sugar and water one is to one ratio. So it it becomes it becomes clear like this. Water, but it's sweet, but it's not sugar syrup. It's not sassany. It's just a syrup, simple syrup. Uh, we've added some peach and we've muddled it and we've uh, added some mint and we're going to shake it right now. Now, guys, there is a one real thing uh, which is, uh, it's a phenomenon called shaking face. So, Every time we train bartenders, we always tell them to smile when they're shaking a cocktail because they have a shake face. Uh, it, 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 it's really funny. If you, if you Google and uh, type shaking, like cocktail shaking faces, um, those are one of the funniest faces you'll ever come across on the, on the uh, World Wide Web. So after shaking the cocktail, if you have a martini glass or if you like to add ice, that's up all up to you. I'd like to put it in a martini glass. What I do is because we've shaken mint and peach and everything in it, it has bits and pieces of it. So what I like to do is I like to use a tea strainer and double strain my cocktail into a cocktail shake.
So again, in the real world of bars, we would add like the shaker would be full of ice because uh, the more ice you put in a cocktail, the lesser room it has to melt. So you're kind of uh, just uh, chilling the cocktail, not diluting it. And once the cocktail is ready, you can garnish it with the fruit that you use in the cocktail or the mint or just a lemon twist. So I'm going to use the peach. And let's call it the peach and mint martini. Cheers. That was pretty good. I'm just going to, thanks. I'm just going to look at uh, uh, the... I don't think there are many dance. people who are following it. I think they're just uh, taking notes. Maybe okay. they'll do it later or practice it later when they have all the ingredients. But I think I Perfect. see Amit is doing it and he's pretty yeah. close to finishing. Yeah. <laughs> Eat a peach while I can. Okay, so uh, you want to move on to the next one or do you want to do a recap of sure. this one? I'll do a recap while Amit finishes this. Yeah. So people who've joined after, um, after um, like later, uh, what I, I always say is when you're making a cocktail, your spirit, your sour ingredient, which is lime or lemon, your sweetener, which, is, which can be your simple syrup or any other flavored syrup, any herb that you would like to add, like I added mint, any fruit. So five things. Usually these five things should be fine to make any kind of cocktail. You can mix any flavors. So like we've used vodka right now for this, you can use gin or, or uh, brandy to make this cocktail. You can use a white rum to make this cocktail. So... Can we add uh, soda as well? You can add soda or Sprite to it to add that bubbly, uh, fizzy nature of the cocktail. You can definitely top it up with soda. Awesome. So, that, that, this, that's the best thing about making cocktails. Is you just need to use five ingredients and you have a cocktail ready. Now, a fun fact about these five ingredients is we go to the bars and we, we know that, oh, there is a rum punch. There is this punch. There is that punch. So punch is a cocktail that was invented in India. So punch basically used to stand for punch, which is five ingredients, like I said. So uh, the five ingredients being one part, uh, one part strong, two parts weak, three parts. So alcohol sweet sour herbs fruit five things and that's your punch so basically this is a condensed version of a punch in a glass that looks great amit that looks amazing um Let amit, me can we next. replace the simple syrup with soda uh you the cocktail will taste really sour if you replace the simple syrup with soda because uh that's the sweetening ingredient in it right but if if you do not have simple setup what you can do is uh if, if you don't want to use sugar per se you can always try and use um, uh, make this syrup with the sugar-free stevia that you get or you can use maple syrup or honey instead of instead of sugar like simple syrup you can make same kind of simple syrup with honey or maple syrup which is uh, Less sugar content, but uh, just replacing soda with simple syrup will not work because it will it won't balance the cocktail, like I'm saying, because there's lime juice in it and it's not going to add any sweetness to it. Does that answer the question? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, perfect. So let's move on to the next one. Next one being our nation's favorite uh, whiskey. Right now, most of us like to drink whiskey soda or whiskey water and soda 
and it is a cocktail it's called whiskey highball uh, it is a type of cocktail that we most people don't know about and so we've seen our grandfathers and fathers drink that cocktail all the time and we are like nay 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 i don't like cocktail i am i am a big boy i like whiskey soda but you are still drinking a cocktail so what we're going to do today is we're going to make a uh, whiskey sour uh for whiskey sour i like to use egg whites in it so the family of cocktails sour whiskey sour uh, pisco sour gin sour any kind of sour has to have egg white in it as per rules but if you don't like egg white just the raw egg white you can use pineapple juice uh just a little bit of pineapple juice or uh, you can use aquafaba aquafaba is uh, uh you, you when you boil chole or uh, chickpeas the water that you get while boiling it the the scum that you get on top of chole is aquafaba that's full of proteins and that's uh, that's a regular replacement for egg whites if you don't want to use egg whites in a cocktail so i'm going to use egg white in my cocktail today so we are going to start with a large measure of whiskey any whiskey is good i prefer bourbon when i'm making whiskey sours because bourbon has that uh, nice uh, smoky aroma to it and that kind of adds flavor to it i'm i have this one egg white i'm just going to use half of it again we're going to use lemon juice Ishan welcome hi welcome Ishan is joined us from dubai oh great so i am a lot of uh, feedback coming your way saying it tastes really good we're making it taste superb taste great perfect perfect awesome So yeah, I just squeeze some fresh lemon in whiskey sour. Try and use fresh uh, souring agents like lemon and lime, just because it's uh, first of all it's really nice to use fresh ingredients. Second, it tastes better. Uh, the bottled ones do not taste the same as the fresh ones, so I like to use it like this. Uh, So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a little twist to the classic whiskey sour that we usually make. So we added whiskey, we added lemon juice to it, we added egg white to it. I'm going to add a little bit of strawberry and ground marmalade jam that I have. So if you have any jam or marmalade, go ahead and add it. How much lemon? Uh, thirty ml. Sorry, come again. So if you're making. Thirty milliliter of lemon juice. Okay. So uh, that's roughly the ballpoint figure of how much lemon and how much sugar needs to be be added in a cocktail. If it's a cocktail where you are using a large measure, which is sixty milliliters of any apple, to make a cocktail, you have to kind of add twenty-five to thirty milliliter of lemon juice. You cannot go wrong with lemon juice, and and you always taste your cocktail before you serve it, right? So if you taste it, you think, "Oh, lemon juice is a little bit extra." You can always balance it with simple syrup or extra soda or extra, something like that, right? Just dilute that sourness a little bit, and you'll be fine. So I'm adding that jam, a good teaspoon of that jam in my whiskey sour. I'm going to add simple syrup as well. Now I don't have to add same amount of simple syrup because we have added jam already, so it it is already going to be sweet. So I can be okay with adding 20 ml of simple syrup in it. Ice. How much strawberry jam? a teaspoon of any kind of jam it need not be necessarily strawberry or any kind of jam so now now the secret behind when you add egg whites to your cocktail is 
there's a method called sh- we are shaking a cocktail, right? So it's called dry shaking. Dry shaking is shaking without ice. So why we do that is to break the proteins in the egg white. So when you whisk egg white, it becomes fluffy and white, right? That's how we want it in the cocktail. So what we're going to do is we're going to shake it. I like to do a reverse dry shake, which is uh, add ice, shake, strain, throw the ice, and then shake again. But instead of doing that, we're going to just shake it without ice first to break the proteins in it, and then um, add ice to it, and then shake again. Just be careful when you're shaking it without ice. It might pop open because of the egg white. It it kind of uh, expands, it aerates. So uh, it will leak a little bit, which is fine though. Amai, there's one more question. Any third alternative for egg whites? Pineapple juice. You can add a little bit of pineapple juice to it. So I've shaken and broken down my egg whites. One more question. How much simple syrup to put? 20 ml. If you've added jam, add 20 ml of simple syrup. If you haven't added jam, add the same amount as uh, lemon juice that you've added in your cocktail. Now I've added ice. I'm going to shake again. Remember to smile when you shake. I'm going to use this uh, cocktail uh, old fashioned glass and and this we haven't added any kind of fruit in it right there's some little jam but people like to eat jam they sometimes it's nice to have those small pieces of jam come in your mouth when you're drinking that cocktail so i'm not going to strain it not double strain i'm just going to taste my cocktail first and strain it in a glass oh it's really good Now, again, if you want to add fizz to it, go ahead, add soda. Uh, I personally don't like adding soda or fizz to my whiskey sauce, but the idea is, see, uh, you see that small head coming on top of the glass? That is because of the egg whites. And that is what you want you know, any kind of sour cocktail. If you have any kind of bitters, I'm going to show you a cool trick on how to make a nice uh, cocktail garnish. I'm going to come close there and I'll show you that so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to drop three drops here in line. Is that Tabasco no. sauce? No, that's uh, that's Angostura bitters. So you, can you see it? Yeah. So what I'm going to do with this is uh, you can pick up any toothpick. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. And once that is dropped, you just go. It becomes a small leaf in a cocktail. Nice. There's a so question like a latte from all the participants. They're saying, will the egg white smell? No, it won't. I mean, if you, if you stick your nose in it and you're trying to find egg white, it, you can find it. But uh, otherwise... That's why we're trying to mask that flavor with jam and lemon juice and simple syrup. When you drink whiskey sauce, that looks really great, Amit. Yeah, we want that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we want that head on it. That You know, if, if you think you can smell egg white in it, if you have a lemon or a lime, cut the lemon zest like this. 
just like a lemon zest like this. Yeah. And you can just squeeze that lemon zest on top of the cocktail on the glass like this. So what this does is it'll give you that nice citrusy lemony aroma and it'll cut down your uh, Vishal, you want to show Amay what you've done? That looks great. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, I'm going to drink that now. This, this looks really amazing. See, I really like this. Is a nice summery drink. Um, again, you can add apple juice to it. You can add pineapple juice to it. You can play around with it. If it's a nice whiskey, uh, if you add it, like I said, if you add it apple juice, try and add cinnamon syrup to it. So it becomes like a apple pie whiskey sour or something like that. Oh, boy. Can we add some liquor into this? Whiskey? Oh, just the liquor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a normal flavored liquor, lychee liquors or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. You can do anything with whiskey sour. Uh, lychee usually will not go well with whiskey. So mm. you can add triple sec or coin throw. Okay. Uh, lychee will go extremely well with gin because it's fruity. So you need to add something which is herbaceous and flowery with something fruity. Because lychee will cut down whiskey and whiskey will cut down lychee. So it's not going to taste. So it's just, but you can muddle ginger if you like. You can muddle ginger and okay. um, use it in your whiskey. So that will taste really good. Okay. Okay. Perfect. You're welcome. The next do, you just do, a quick, uh, do you want to just do a quick recap uh, of the whiskey sour oh. just, just in a minute? Just take it. Yeah. So what we did with whiskey sour is we've taken big measure of whiskey. Uh, can be any whiskey that you like. Uh, I've added 25, 30 ml of lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice. I've added some, uh, uh, I have a strawberry Grandmanier jam that, uh, that I received yesterday. I've added a teaspoon of that. Uh, I've added 20 ml of simple syrup. Simple syrup is again one part sugar, one part water. Uh, so it kind of balances that flavor. If Whenever you drink a cocktail, when you taste a cocktail, you know it is balanced or not. You can tell if it's extra sour, it's not balanced. If it's extra sweet, it's not balanced. So if it hits all the taste buds, it's balanced well. Uh, and then we've added egg white. What you can do is, uh, I like to shake it without ice and then add ice to it. That's called dry shake and reverse dry shake method. So you basically break the proteins in egg white and it becomes a nice thick foam on it. Now the bitters that we added are again to mask the flavor of egg white, if you think there is any. Usually you will, you will ne never ever get the flavor. There's one question, Ame, can you add honey instead of syrup? Absolutely, you can. Okay. You can add honey, but make a honey syrup. Don't just add honey to a cocktail because when you add, because you're going to shake it with ice. When you shake honey with ice, it solidifies and becomes a clump. So dilute that honey with hot water. So equal amounts of honey and hot water. Make a syrup, honey syrup, and then use that syrup instead of just putting honey in it. We've had some people who joined us a little while back. Uh, yeah. Just for information, if you're following what Amir is doing, then your cameras have been enabled and you can put them on. Yeah, yeah. you can move on. Perfect. So, third third cocktail that, like, not a cocktail, but a third spirit that everyone really, 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 really likes is, um, is uh, rum. So, uh, most of us, uh, I think it's really... Uh, uh, rainy evening in Pune today. So rum uh, is, is, is a great uh, accompany, accompaniment for a nice uh, rainy evening. So we, I'm using Captain Morgan Spice Rum today. Uh, what, again, I said, uh, I like to use, I like to make my cocktails. Am I, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but there's one more question regarding the whiskey sour from uh, yeah. Mahabhat. She says, for simple syrup, do you just mix sugar and water or heat it up and cook it? No, don't heat it up because when you heat it up, the sugar will caramelize. 
when the sugar caramelizes it will change the color of the simple syrup this is my simple syrup it looks exactly like just like water so it does not have to be cooked it can just be made on the go so if you whenever you have people coming over throw sugar water equal measure mix it it will it will melt properly there won't be any residue of sugar left in the in the syrup so just that's that's the don't cook it so <clears throat> moving on with our cocktail again uh captain morgan spice rum spice rum again is very 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 versatile drink it has vanilla cinnamon those flavors in it you can use this spice rum instead of whiskey in the cocktail that we just did uh you can replace that whiskey with any kind of other spirit that you like like um uh my friend here asked me if he can add any liqueur to it you can definitely go ahead change the whiskey or add like liqueur to the existing whiskey in that cocktail so all these cocktails again what i'm what we are doing now you can reput any kind of spirit in those cocktails and they will taste nice by themselves so if you want to mix some other kind of liqueur in it it has to be kind of paired ready or you know uh, played played accordingly so with rum because it's a spice rum i like to retain the flavors of spice rum i don't like to kill the flavors in the spice rum so what i usually do is uh, people if it's this bottle of bitters angostura bitters is really easy to find and these this is like pepper and salt it's like a seasoning for any cocktail this is a must in any if you are a cocktail uh, uh enthusiastic you have to have this in the house uh like i said because it it, it is really good it, it is like a seasoning for any kind of cocktail so what we are going to do is uh, uh i'm just thinking of either we can we can mix I'll, i'll tell you one cocktail i'll tell you that cocktail we won't make it today but if you have time i'll definitely show that but we'll do apple cinnamon uh uh apple cinnamon martini with uh, uh spice rum uh like i said spice rum i like to retain the flavors so uh apple and rum really go well lime juice uh and you can taste so as long as the other ingredients with the spice rum are not overpowering the flavors of the rum you're good to go so i'm going to start with last measure of spice rum wow it's not even 10:30 and i'm feeling it already mm-hmm. we're going to go lime juice 30 ml of lime juice Forty-five to fifty ml of apple juice. If you have any kind of juice, that is still fine. Go ahead and use the juice that you have. It need not be apple juice. See, th- that that's the fun part about this. The ingredients that you have are the right ingredients. It 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 doesn't have to be what I am doing. You can have you can use orange juice and still make it taste good instead of apple juice. and because this is not a classic cocktail classic cocktails are made in a certain way these are cocktails that we're just coming up with right now and you know trying to make them taste good so i've added rum i've added lime juice i've added uh, apple juice i'm still going to add a little bit of simple syrup to balance again like probably 15 ml of simple syrup because we have 25 to 30 ml of lime juice people really underestimate lemon and lime juice it really cuts through everything and it, you can taste it even if you add 60 ml of apple juice it's going to cut through apple juice and rum and you can still taste the lime juice so you have to balance it like i said uh uh we're going to 
add some cinnamon powder in it if you don't have cinnamon powder use a fresh cinnamon i'm going to use fresh cinnamon So this, this is like an apple crumble or an apple pie because it's a very Christmassy, uh, you know, wintery flavor. Uh, ex extremely, extremely good for a uh, rainy evening in Pune right now. I've added ice. I'm going to get my glass out. I'm going to shake it with a smile. How much cinnamon powder should it be, Amit? Uh, you know, it's it's you don't have to measure cinnamon powder. It can be you know pinch of cinnamon powder, or or uh, if it's not a powder, if it's a fresh cinnamon. It can be a stick of cinnamon, but it has to be murdered properly for the extract to get extracted, basically. Uh, you can play around. It's, it's not a hard and fast tool. Key. You have to add this much of cinnamon to this much of apple juice. So like most cinnamon flavor, go ahead and add extra cinnamon to it. Like I said, you taste the cocktail before it is served. If you think there's extra cinnamon in it, add a splash of rum. Add a splash of apple juice to it, and it'll balance up. It's all about. It's like cooking, right? We never measure salt and pepper when we add. We never measure masalas. We just throw it in. We know how they're going to taste. It's exactly cocktail is like that. It just has to be good, good. Uh, there was one more question regarding the whiskey sour. Uh, Anil yeah. is asking, should we strain the whiskey sour? Uh, if you're adding it with ice, you don't have to. If you are doing it in a in a martini glass like this, you have to. I like. See, right now we've not added any kind of fruit in it, but I'm still going to double strain it because I don't like a shards of ice floating in my cocktail. But if you are using ice in a cocktail, it doesn't matter you strain or not. There was no fruit in it, so I didn't really strain it. Uh, and what also happens is when you find strain of whiskey sour, it kind of eats the foam. The, it, it sits on the strainer instead of the glass and it kind of kills the look of the cocktail. So I'm going to strain this uh, apple cinnamon. Let's call it an apple pie. Uh, apple, ap apple pie and martini. Melinda is asking, uh, the only fruit I have is a mango. What goes best with that? Vodka based or rum based? Anything will go because mango is a tropical fruit. Rum is a tropical drink. It will go well with mango or rum. If you are using rum with mango, try and use mint leaves uh, to kind of, you know, uh, give a contrast flavor with the mango and mint or mango and chili flakes. So make a mojito with that rum, mango and chili flakes, and it'll look, it it'll taste really great. Uh, if you're using it with cocktail, uh, if you're using it with vodka, use mango, ginger, vodka, ice. Put it in a blender, blend it, and taste it. It it'll it'll be like a margarita with vodka and mango and ginger. Really great flavors. Everyone has ginger at home to make chaha or chai. It, so ginger plays extremely well with mango and mint plays extremely well with mango. Folks, any questions for Amai, please post them in the chat box. So Amai, we've so, completed our three cocktails. Yes, we have. Can we can we see all of them, please? Yeah. Good that I didn't drink it. <laughs> I want to taste it. So those of you on the webinar, can we have you coming on the screen now for a picture with Amay?
Can you see all the cocktails? Can you guys uh, switch on your cameras, please, so that we see how many people are there? Oh, suddenly you can see. I can see my friend getting the control there. Guys, can you switch on your cameras for a quick picture, please? I think everyone's in their uh, night clothes, so they're all shy. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm, I, I, just, I just woke up, so... <laughs> Oh, I have my my sister and my mom and dad. Oh, good evening, <laughs> folks. Hi to the Sharma family in Pune. <laughs> There's a uh, my friend Smita Atre is on the webinar. Yes, Smita. I see. Oh, Doctor Milan Gadkari is here too. Yes, quite a few people have joined us in for this call. Uh, I can see Amit uh, with his cocktails there. I think that's a great effort. Amit and Yushita, well done. Nishant with his cocktails. Anybody else who made them, you can show them to us. I can see Advocate Gorpade is there. That is great. Okay, guys, smile. I'm taking a picture. Wait, wait, wait. I need to smile first. Yeah, yeah, come. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, cheese. Nice one. So any questions for me? Okay, I think, uh, I think you've given people very uh, detailed instructions. In case they've missed them out, of course, this whole webinar is being recorded. So they can go back and see yeah. it on YouTube after a few days. So once again, uh, I thank you, Amit, for joining us all the way from Canada. I know it's early in the morning. Thank you. And uh, Yeah, no, never, like I said, never too early for a cocktail. Right. Thank you so much and, for joining. Uh, I think if any of you ever, yeah, if any of you ever want to make cocktails or you have any questions, you can always uh, on Instagram. It's it's a account called Booze Gyan, or you can add me on Facebook and ask questions. I'll be more than happy to answer any kind of cocktail questions. Any feedback from me? You can please uh, write it in the chat box. If you enjoyed the session, if you learned something new, something interesting, you can drop in your comments or your feedback in the chat box down below and uh, just to give you a heads up it's our last webinar as part of this series which is coming up on Saturday it's a motivational talk um, so that's going to be conducted by me and uh, it's going to be at 6 p.m. on Saturday so uh, for those of you who are interested in joining we will be circulating the link for registration soon so please look forward to that on social media so once again, thank you very much. Some nice feedback, Amai. I'll quickly run you through it. Uh, someone's asking your Insta ID. It is called Booz Gyan. Rightly so. It's called Booz Gyan. He's on Instagram. Anil says, thank you. Thank you. Loved your whiskey sour. Now thanks to you. I know how to make it. Awesome. Got, uh, uh, thanks, Amai from Pallavi. Nikhil Naik says, thank you so much. Overall, some great feedback. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, please uh, shake away. Make cocktails and drink. They're amazing. Uh, like every, it, it, the pandemic is bringing out creativity in people. This is, this is great. Priyanka Upadhyay says, thanks, Amit and Chirag. Thank you, Priyanka. Yes. Nice show. Thanks, Priyanka. Thank you. All right, folks. Thank you and have a good evening. Cheers. Thanks. Enjoy. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye.